A long time ago, in the land of Bohemia, there was the town of Silver Scalets. This was a peaceful town for the most part, but it would play out as the starting place of this story of vengeance, love and turmoil. This is Kingdom Come Deliverance. Not so long after the Bohemian King Wenceslas was taken captive, the armies of his captor and brother Sigismund of Luxembourg would arrive on the fringes of Scalets, filled with bandits and cutthroats from the Cuman war tribe. Within but moments, the town is up in flames and covered in blood. All who do not flee were killed. Henry, a blacksmith's son, witnessed acts that day that no young man should ever see. With his known family, friends and beloved brutally murdered and his home burnt to a crisp, he was lucky to escape with the few graces that he did. And with a stolen horse, he rode onto the nearest secure settlement with arrows flying by his head. He headed to Talmberg. Barely escaping with his life, he rushed to warn Talmberg's lord, Sir Divish, about the immediate danger. Divish was sympathetic, however, not willing to risk lives for Henry's demands for a return to Silver Skelets, and wanted to hold a neutral stance for now, forcing him to sneak away on his own to provide his parents a proper burial. Foolishly, the lone Henry was met with an ambush by some bandits. Immediately outnumbered, he ended up beaten half to death and robbed of all of his belongings including the sword he and his father had crafted for his lord, Sir Radzik. On his deathbed, a miller's daughter, Teresa, with the aid of Sir Robard of Talmberg, took Henry far from the immediate danger, to the largest settlement of the area, Ritai, and then nursed him back to health. After many days of rest, Henry arises, still not fully fit but capable to work for his dues. This whole ordeal is not forgotten though, and he seeks out a way to avenge his family and friends for skeletons. This leads him to meeting the acting lord of Ratai, Sir Hanush. During this encounter, he reunites with his old lord, Sir Radzik, and attempts to impress him to allow but a mere peasant into his envoy, by accompanying and then saving Hanush's young ignorant nephew, Sir Hans Capon. After investigating the bandit group that Capon was attacked by, along with the invading force, Henry stumbles upon a trail of breadcrumbs that leads to an old hamlet, Pribislavitz, that had become a bandit breeding ground. This, being a nearby threat to the realm along with the town of Talmberg, initiated a raid by some of the best soldiers at hand. After many losses on both sides, Henry breaks through to confront the leader of the camp and sword thief, Runt. The fight against Runt would be Henry's greatest challenge yet, and despite experiential disadvantage, he would prevail. Sadly, not without a few bad cuts and bruises, but worst of all, a lack thereof any information of Runt's liege. After dealing with the rest of the Pribislavitz camp, the Lords of the Realm decide that some force is attempting an insurgency inside their own borders, but have no idea who it could be. Henry, swiftly rising up the respect rankings, is granted with the task of investigating the Cuman and Bandit problem further. A suspected counterfeit chest of Groschen coins is soon located and leads Henry on a wild goose chase around the realm, seeking any information about the counterfeiters. After finally locating some of the counterfeiters, Henry is given the location of who they are funding with the coins, along with recruiters into their ranks. To hold the cover and enter the group's ranks, Henry is then tasked with an assassination of a would-be monk in the monastery of Sosau. This man had betrayed the group and escaped into a monk cover himself, and would later detail some of their comings and goings to Henry before his… well, let's just say his passing out of the realm. Finally being inducted into the ranks, Henry witnesses the secluded stronghold settlement of Vranic. The fortification was spilling out with Czech mercenaries, who all seemed to be working against the lords of the land, for what was unknown to them to be counterfeit coin. Before Henry could escape with his findings, he was recognised by the Hungarian nobleman, Istvan Toth, Runt's liege, and current carrier of the stolen sword. Istvan orders his capture and blows Henry's cover. After yet another beating and interrogation for Henry, Istvan reveals to him his alliance with Sigismund and plans to conquer the Bohemian lands, but more personally to Henry, revealing that he was in fact actually a bastard son of Sir Radzik Koboya all along. Upon his revelation, Henry became a bargaining chip for Istvan, and he seeked an escape back to Ratai immediately. With the aid of a mercenary, who happens to be a fellow Skelet's villager, who overhears the whole ordeal, Henry is able to sneak his way out of the camp after bumping a few guards' heads. Upon leaving the camp, they part ways, and Henry rushes to warn the lords in Ratai of the gathering forces and their plans. After hearing these plans, the lords promptly plan a raid on the camp with almost all of their gathered might from the region, to stomp out the threat for good. The raid, led by Sir Divish, goes to plan in the dark of the night, 
and they are able to torch the camp along with defeating and capturing most of the Vranic forces. However, the leader Istvan and his guards are nowhere to be found at the top of the encampment. Divish and the other leading lords immediately realise that they've left their homes mostly undefended and figure out that the bandit leader has gone to take over Talmberg Castle. Henry joins with Divish's remaining forces to return to Talmberg, only to find a raided outskirts and a raised drawbridge. The castle, Sir Divish's wife, Lady Stephanie, and Henry's father, Sir Radzig Koboya, had all been taken hostage and their lives threatened. With this, Divish took the only action he felt he could and began the siege on his own keep. Over the next few days, the focus was on an ever-growing siege camp and the main focus being a large trebuchet. Once built, this beast of a siege machine would fire multiple large projectiles towards the castle, causing some awful damage but finally hitting its mark, destroying the portcullis, allowing entry into the main yard. With Istvan's troops swiftly dealt with, he only had the hostages as his escape route and used them to leverage the deal of safe passage out of the castle and the realm. After Divish accepted such requests, he left on horse holding only Henry's real father until he left the realm's borders. After retrieving his father, alongside his newfound friend Hans Capon, Henry returns to Talmberg, a nobleman's son, and seeks to aid in the kingdom's restoration. What does the future hold for Henry? Reconstruction and preservation of the old hamlet of Prebyslavitz? aiding his new allies in their exploits, or further courtship with his saviour Teresa. Only you can decide how he pulls all of this off. Henry himself may not have been historically accurate, but the actions that you partake in were certainly very real. Thank you very much for joining me on this journey through Kingdom Come Deliverance. This is the first video in a long time for this channel, and it is going to be the first of many, many more. So make sure to hit that bell and stay tuned because we're going to be making a lot more content on story, lore, history, and so much more. My name is Andrew or Sally 11 Make sure to drop a like, drop a comment, and subscribe if you've not done so already. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.